Okay, here's a quick uh, tip on how to do a sky with some stencils and some templates and a sponge and some blue paint. I've just got some acrylic here, but you can do it with anything really. So, put cut out some. I've got, just got some cartridge paper here, but you can use watercolor paper or canvas or whatever. Cut out some templates out of some reasonably thick um, card, otherwise it will go through to the other side and, and you'll find it's not very usable. Then get your sponge, dip it into, it can be, it doesn't have to be a sponge, it can be a piece of paper towel or whatever. And then you just literally sponge your paint on around the top of those clouds. Try and keep the stencil as flat as you can as you go in. And you can leave it a little bit patchy. I quite like it when there's a few gaps. And then when you peel the stencil off it leaves a shape. So what you can do is you can either repeat that or you can put this to one side until it dries a little bit and then you can turn it over and use it again. Um, and what I've done is I've cut out a few here so that we can get some different shapes going on. So you don't want to put the stencil down too close to the cloud that's above and you're just going to create a sort of hazy bit which is between that cloud and the next one. So this one you want to be sort of reasonably patchy really like this. So let the paint run out on this sponge like that so it go, goes from sort of fairly thick to sort of transparent so again once you're done with that just move it over put it over there pick up some more paint take another template I'm going to use this over this side like that and I'm going to have it half coming off this side this time and again, we're just going to do, so put the thicker paint along the top of the cloud. And then as it comes off your sponge, it will thin down and you can just sort of put some thinner bits in like that. This would also be good for waves. Um, so you could cut out similar templates and do waves in the sea and you might want to use this technique in part of your sky but not all of it so you know you don't have to just cover every single bit like that and I'm going to reuse one of the older stencils but I'm just going to use it on the other side I'm going to link up that bit there just to get a little bit of extra Okay, so there you are, the sort of cloudy sky. If you wanted to, you could go back in with your light colour and just sort of add extra bits of colour in off of your sponge to lighten it up. And don't forget to wash your sponge straight away, especially if you're using acrylic paint. Okay, have a go. Press like and subscribe and uh, leave me any comments or questions and I'll see you next time. Bye.